look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him, way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Shouldn't be out here with a bad influence spinster like me. 
You're going to be exhausted tomorrow. I know. I just don't want to go home until I'm sure my mother-in-law's asleep. Hmm, it sounds like things are going well with the new housemate. I told her I worked all day and wouldn't be home to make dinner before she moved in. She said she could do it, but she complains every time. Where were you? I had to feed your husband and your son. You're so stupid and lazy. You should come home earlier. What does she want you to do? You're putting a roof over her head as much as your husband is? She's lucky you do as much as you do for her. I wish he would tell her that. But it's nice hearing it from you. Well, no rush. It's a beautiful night. You deserve to enjoy it. They'll keep you. I'm still there. I can't get back. I can't get it back. Who are you? I don't know who you are. I don't know any of you. If I could just get some quiet, stop the machine thought screaming at me, constantly screaming in my head. I can't think. I can't think. Think! I want all the details about your vacation. It was Canada, right? Did you do one of those canoe trips up to see the Northern Lights? Oh, thanks for asking. I didn't get to see the Aurora, but maybe next time, right? And uh, it was Iceland, actually. That's disappointing. This is why people save up and go to Paris, you know. The Eiffel Tower's always there. The Louvre's always there. All you have to do is show up and they won't let you go. No, no, I had a great time. Really. The food there was great and the buildings are so colorful. And I got a really nice wool scarf for my mom. She is just in love with it. <laughs> oh, well, good. I'm glad you still had some fun. Hey. I said, did you find it yet? Not yet, but it has to be up here somewhere. We'll keep looking. It's three in the morning, and I swear I've seen at least four chefs turning up for work. I think you might underestimate the power of a late night noodle run. You up for grabbing some? It's gotta be good if what you're saying is true. I never eat after midnight. But I'm in such a noodle noodle. If you're gonna talk like that, you can go alone. Hey, it's me. I, uh, I forgot the passcode. Yeah, I know. I had it on a note, but I must have lost it somewhere. I know, I know. Can you just help me out this once and I'll owe you one? 
Got it. Thanks, I'll see you down there. How long can this rain go on for? How long has it even been? I don't think I even remember what it is to be dry. Oh, relax. A little bit of water's not going to kill you. That's great and everything, but my roof leaks. So I'm going to get home in the middle of the night and immediately have to mop the floor and set a bunch of pots out before I can even think about going to bed. Ah, oh, bummer. so much more than down at street level. I used to come up here and try and count all the stores set up in the old market. Oh, you didn't hear? They demolished that whole area. Pretty recently. I think there's a police training school or something now. For a bit, I thought it had something to do with all the men with guns around here lately. I bet that's been a hell of a thing to get used to. Chef outfit is really uncomfortable. I wish we didn't have to do all this cloak and dagger stuff every day to get to work. Shh, you can't talk about that stuff up here. Ah, oh, geez, no one's listening. I'm gonna head in and change into something more comfortable. You coming? I'll be in in a sec. I'll see you down there. Electronics might be fried. You're going to have to take it to the garage. Cars like that are all computers inside, you know. Used to be a man could fix anything he needed with a wrench and a screwdriver. But now? <laughs> Good call. I'll check that next. I would take a look myself if my back weren't bothering me so much today. But I don't mind sticking around. Oh, check your fluid levels. So sore. Why is that? I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. She was hiding in a hole with the cardboard covering her. I nearly stepped right through. Wow. So I was laying there, my knee hurting like hell, and she started yelling something about me stealing her past. What's that about? I saw another one pounding a stone to the pavement. He just kept repeating. How did I get here? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it just me or have they up the crazy lately? It must be hell to live like that. Oh, at least someone is trying to help them out. There's this building where I've seen them go. I think they help them out. Yo.
Rain, rain, nothing but rain. You can say that again. I wouldn't mind promotion to inside duty. In the block? Are you crazy? Don't you know they do experiments in there? Some supernatural brain shit from what I hear. Supernatural brain shit? Give me a break. I heard it's some kind of reach out to the homeless. Helping them to a better life. Ha! That's just pure fantasy. Have you met Hush? I have. He didn't strike me as the bleeding heart type. Nah, my money's definitely on the supernatural brain shit. That's for sure. Almost really got them flowing in. Yeah, but it creeps me out how they're different when they leave. Yeah, I'd say they're different when they enter. Come on, you know what I mean. Like, they're not quite there. Some of them in a really bad way. I'd never accept participating in those experiments, no matter how well they pay. No one is asking you to. You just need to keep track of the ones who do. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the homeless shelter. Looking good today, sir. Get the hell out of here. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. The flyer has a symbol I need to find on the building. When I'm rich, I am boots. Sit down, get a house. I'm never going out in the rain again. I'm gonna be rich, rich, you hear? Then you won't look at me like I'm filth. No, you won't. Relax, man. I'm not looking at you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but who's gonna be on top then, huh? Me. I can buy shit, food, clothes. I can take out your girl if I want to. Hey, listen. Ignore him. He's crazy, come on. Just let it go. Why not? Yeah. I should get a girl, what else? He's rich. crazy. A nice one. I'll scrub up, get real nice, get my head done, get in with the right people. Uh, have you seen a girl around? Short hair with a bright green bag. Sorry. Shit. She said she'd meet me here. She's probably running late. Yeah. Mm. She used to be really reliable, though. When, when we were in school, she was my rock. She always let me copy her notes. She would never have kept me waiting like this. Sometimes it feels like she's changed. People change. It's stupid, but... I'm kind of scared. Hey, lady! Want to go to a restaurant with me? I'm gonna be rich! I'll take you somewhere nice! I don't think so. Your loss. Just don't come begging. You've had your chance. It's stupid, but... I'm kind of scared she's outgrowing me. Like, maybe she's changing, but I'm just staying the same. I'm just... I don't know. 
dead weight. She agreed to meet you in the middle of the night, in the rain. No one does that if they don't care. I guess No that's more. Just shit. Oh, I feel like kind of an asshole for asking her out now. She's probably ruining her shoes in this weather, just so we can get drinks. Maybe you can pick up the tab. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Future right to seek further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this fate. I knew Hush would be pleased with it. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Julie. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusions of this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Hey, if those exercises are doing anything for that shoulder of yours. That's bugging me a bit, but I'll live. Me too. Yeah, that last guy wouldn't shut up about the experiments. Got a thousand questions. An hour. Yeah, what are those experiments about? I, I overhear stuff, but I, I don't understand half of it. Some kind of mind control? You gotta be kidding. It is a little freaky, though. With those homeless people. Upstairs, I've seen Hush control their arms with his mind. Something like that. It's not his mind, it's the machine. He talks straight to it with his brain, that's all. Yeah, he's weird. With his condition, his project, and him being hooked up to the facility with that implant. Is that for real? It's for real. Not that big of a deal. It's where we're all going. Into the future. John looks a bit like an imbecile when he's awake, too. Yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he?
Event Horizon, here we come. Feeling a bit better? I... I don't understand what is happening to me. I... I don't like this. Yes, I think you're a bit confused just now. I'll be back later. Give you some time to... Well, I'll be back. Hope you don't mind getting a little wet. How are you feeling? One to five. Two. How strong is your headache? One to five. Five. Tell me your name? Fu Luoyang. Tell me the name of your mother. Um, th that's... Give me a second. Uh, I don't remember. This headache. Let's move on. Where did you grow up? That's easy. I grew up in... What the hell? I don't know. I, I don't remember. What is this? Please stay calm. Have a little break and we'll pick this up in a few minutes. Get you anything? What is this? What have you done to me? Okay, still not feeling quite up to par, I see. Good. As noted, I'll stop by again in a few minutes. I implemented the notes from Hush in the throughput benchmark test, and I just don't know how he does it. He looked at my design for less than a minute before making his suggestions, and now we can go 8.5% higher and still keep within the acceptable margin for brain damage. I'm not surprised. He is special. Sometimes I forget to see the bigger picture with the long hours and short deadlines, but it really is a privilege to work for someone like him. There is no one else like him. No one. That makes it... Is the satellite link to offsite backup safe? Trust me, Hush. I'll let you know if I don't need any delay. Oh, voice. I'd love to know what you're up to. I can feel her breathing down my neck all the time. Grown. Hush. You need to focus your mind on the project. Your vision. Leave all that tedious stuff to me. I'll protect you. You know that. Yes. My vision. I can't let her get those Keep focus. That's it. Exactly. Oh, it will be great. You're moving on to memory recollection, right? Yes. He's creating the perfect primer for rewiring preferences. I'm proud to be a part of it. There is no one else like you. No one. That makes it a true privilege, yes. But also a great responsibility. We must assist him in any way possible. Do you ever worry your parents wouldn't be proud of you if they knew what you did for a living? No. I do my job. I fill in a few Sudoku a day at my kitchen table, and I sleep very well. Identify the finding moment. Prepare incision point zero one seven. Link suggestion to the finding moment. Execute. Uh. Oh, this headache. No, 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 no. 
back. Identify memory marker 19. Amplify. Amplify. Link memory marker 14. Load suggestion. Motor control 44.1. Test prep H109 initiated. Signal strength at 40% confirmed. Where was I? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Identify memory marker, section 14. Amplify. Amplify. Ah. Uh. I had. This is perfect, simple, beautiful. I can't stand to see you risk yourself like this. You're obviously showing all the signs that pressing yourself so hard poses a serious health risk. Please go and relax for a bit. Don't you understand what I'm trying to do here? I won't let pain stop me. My chance just feels wrong. Too much of a risk. This can save my family. Uh, brilliant. I need to brilliant. think of my family. I'm ready to experiment. Oh, good. I'll let Sister Lay know to join us for the experiment then. You're done for now. Come on. Right. I'm so glad you decided to go ahead with it. You know, you're good. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. A good specimen to con. Please. I need space. 
He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. Sit and keep still. Ready Be good when today, you sir. Jun Li, let's start at a hundred percent signal strength. No, I mean. No, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion, motor control. 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. Shh. I need to focus. <laughs> the signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log, continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. H109 initiated at signal strength 100%. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. We need to go higher. Come on! Do this. Damn it. It's too low. He's got spirit. Quiet. I can't focus. Abort! You're going too far. No. He's on the verge to break him. Go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. He's no match for Hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I am calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. <sighs> Okay, okay. A short break. And I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here, okay? Don't even think about getting cold feet again, please. I'm here to the end. Nope, no access. You need clearance and you don't have it. Sorry. Check that out. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Right. I 
I'm so glad you decided to go ahead with it. You know, you're going to be a part of something truly amazing. He's a genius, Hush. And this is groundbreaking research. It's an honor, really. But um, he's under a lot of pressure these days, so if you could just go along with it, okay? Don't try to resist the impulses he sends. I don't want him to exert himself. Can you do that? I'll just follow my impulses. Um, that's not, uh... Okay, good. Thanks. I'm going downstairs to Sister Lei to enjoy some competence. She understands the importance of what I'm trying to achieve. Where's Junli? Never mind her. I'll take over. Let's pick it up where we left off, Sister Lei. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. Take a seat. Log. Continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Now I'll see you do as I command. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion motor control. 44.1. Execute. Nothing. He is a strong one. I can get to him. Just need to focus. Ah! Oh, damn it! Not again. You'll get nowhere like this. I don't understand. No one's ever resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say, Hush? Do 120%. 120. Good. 
Let's do it. Log. Continuing experiment. H109. Run calibration. 120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse stream. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. I... I feel power. I can see you. Every little atom. Who are you? I'm... I could... You got the bastard, hush. hush. Now go get Imogen no, Royce and we can get to the core. Get Don't you fucking die on me. Shit. Okay, follow me. This isn't a waiting room. Are you staying or leaving? To meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and Are I you want to straighten hungry, everything sir? out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. The VIP has access to the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. Quiet, quiet. Get that order ready. Yes, I'm working on it.
does this taste weird to you? Not bad, but I don't know. It's like they changed something. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. It tastes exactly the same as always to me. I get the exact same order every time I come here. I think I know what it's supposed to taste like. What do you want from me? Do you want me to go complain on your behalf? Do you want me to send everything back to the kitchen? I didn't say it was bad. I, it's just different. Interesting going on in that guy's room. Either he's a robot or he's missed his calling as a housekeeper. It's pretty damn sterile in there. Not even a cheesy airport book or a pair of dorky slippers. Nothing. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. Some people are just like that. Mr. Pritchard, I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Uh, sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is fine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Right here. Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those, shit, what are they called, the, the crispy ones? Yes, those, perfect. You know what, I'll get a double order and uh, a plate of the pork bow ones. magazines under the bed, stash of hard candies. I wish I had something juicy for you, but he's as straight-laced as they come. It's cleaner than a hospital room in there. Well, that's disappointing. Well, did you look under the bed? You always gotta look under the bed. Sorry, I don't have any better gossip for you. Focus when the kitchen. We went straight to the restaurant. Find your inner self. Was hungry after the nine-hour flight. Close your eyes. I'll give him the tour. Focus your mind on a discretion. Focus on the paycheck. I'll give you updates. 
Sure thing. That's what I do. That is a calming bonus. me when I am at work. Yes, yes, I know I am not home and that it's in the middle of the night. That was a bit of a hang-up and I had to stay. I am 24 years old. I'm hanging up. Evening. Uh, Hoi Mei, could you check my desk for me? I can't remember if I closed the file on it, and I don't want it to be just laying there if the VIP wants to inspect. Yeah, well, I'm telling you to go have a look. Hey, you don't want me to mention your attitude to Roy's view? Hmm, good. Oh, come oh, on, it feels so good. Hey there, you can go right in. Have a nice evening, sir. Hi, Oliver. I'm right in insisting our guest needs to speak what you want, right? No exceptions? Yes. No, no. No difficulties I can handle. I won't start a tour unless he's got it. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in the inside. 
is a self-contained modular bill that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that? At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons Good inside evening, the sir. facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Hey, it's me. Please give me your P41, Mr. Pritchard, so I we can get things rolling. The machine when I left. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Thanks. Just to make sure I'll get the procedure fire. started. It'll just be a oh, few good. moments. Okay. So feel free Thanks. to have a look around. Me too. I'll meet you on the other side Please of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. How much do you think those guys get paid to just stand there and check pockets? Probably a lot. It's driving me crazy. Do they think people here are criminals? Maybe they've actually caught someone. I mean, we're not here all day. It could have happened. Well, of course. If you're going to start harassing people in a neighborhood, you better have a very good reason for it. Maybe they should just communicate it a bit better with the rest of us. <laughs> you should bring that up with you. I'll get right on it. Greetings, sir. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? This is just standard procedure. Thank you. I will have to pad you down if you're coming this way, sir. This is just standard procedure. Just a formality. Thank you. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. You can use your camera to hack that panel. Access granted. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one.
There's no way you're getting through that door 47. Perfect timing. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Let's Without a dongle, we can't inside. hack it. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operation. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task. And on top of that, we have... Oh, good. There she is. Hi, Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine what of daily that? call maintenance. Part of that procedure Doesn't is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss. Low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, Gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration Looking for good, you. Looking good, man. Looking good. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt, the guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, 
also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. Not good. This is not good. Mom, it's Jerry. I think I've just been fired. I have no idea. I thought it was going really well. I like it here. I can't believe it. But who, though? Friend. Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47. I, uh, have to okay. Go. Find out what that was. Oh yeah, I get it. And you know, uh, household logistics, buying groceries, pizza, the cat. There's just a lot to see to. Yeah, but you're my buddy. Let me have your number. Uh, I can never remember my own number. I tell you what, give me yours, and I'll be in touch when I get a spot on the calendar, huh? Okay, great. Royce knew uh, Vincent's girlfriend was breaking job. up with him before he did. Buddy, She's spying on us. All of us. Aren't you on that big social media platform? I'm not sure you have any privacy. Still doesn't feel right. That's a real bodyguard. <sighs> Feels like I'm in here all the time. Me too. It's after Berlin. I've had two psychological debriefs already, and I still keep getting the take-a-break notification on my screen. I don't think I feel that bad. 
I feel like shit. Berlin was bad. As bad as it gets. Royce called it a genuine fucker to my face. I thought she was gonna fire me, but I just got a warning. You don't have clearance to open this door. You don't have clearance to open this door. I just love to know about Royce's project. I'm sure it's something brilliant. Could be. Her programming is... It's like an athlete's body. Optimized for perfection. Powerful exactly where it's needed, and so natural. Like, you see it and know that's exactly how it's supposed to look. Natural? Mm, not the word that comes to mind when I think of Royce. And I don't mean her implants and past excursions into the world of body augmentation. I mean her way. She's a mismatch of non-compatible forces. What do you mean? Shy, but overconfident in a very bossy way, and extremely introverted, and yet she knows everything about everyone working here. She has all the gossip even before it's been voiced. How does she do that? I think she can see the essence of things, like gaze through options and visualize the conclusion. It's some kind of superpower. What? That's just nonsense. I think it's her project. She's testing it on the staff. It must be some kind of profiling tool. Come on, you analysts already master the art of profiling. I think it's something a lot bigger than that. So what's next? Ah, yes. Uh, the full body scan reveals potential for various employee failure scenarios. We evaluate many parameters, and overall they fit in three categories. First, we have the physical assessment, where we scanned for health risks such as heart or organ failure, strokes or seizures. Of course, also tumours, bacterial infections, and physical changes due to virus. Any questions? Uh, so it's pretty much a full screening for diseases. Will you tell us if you, you know, find anything? We have procedures for that, of course. If prognosis is full recovery within a shorter time frame, we provide medical treatment and cover the cost. Uh, excuse me. I'll be back in a second. Access granted. Never caught anything in the frisk, ever. I suppose it's why they're there. Preventative measures. Yeah. I like how things are done here. Nothing left to coincidence. You know, Royce commended me for showing initiative. Yeah. In person. Ah, good for you. You don't have clearance to open this door. Security protocol overruled. Access granted. I wonder when Hush will be back in the facility. Bit weird how he just stopped coming in. Isn't it because of his condition? Don't know. I heard Royce talk to Xiao Ming about hush cutting work to focus on his project. There are so many rumors about that. Probably true, too. 
You know his condition allows him to do actual parallel thinking. He can put true focus to solving multiple problems simultaneously. He's a freak of nature. He learns that way too. Wow. No, I didn't know that. Multiband, top 1% IQ. That's why he's a genius. But it's also what causes his condition. He can't turn it off. Well, no wonder Royce is worried about what he's come up with. With a mind like that, there's no telling. about it. It's not like she's posting our private business anywhere. She just likes to keep track Anyone of Anyone seen things. the, uh, hmm. principal? Yeah, I suppose. Security protocol overruled. My neck is really I've been on road neck corner. Heavy buggers when they're not doing the flying themselves. Oh, tell me about it. Now, I don't see why we can't use an analyst break room. What? The fumes, I mean. I hear they really do you good. They reduce stress and muscle tension. The air is drugged in there? Yup. The miracle fumes are plugged into the air con from the little utility room. Oh, man. I could do with some relaxing fumes. You think we can reroute them? Nah, only adjust the dose. <laughs> we should turn it off so they can see what we have to put up with. Yeah, or crank it up and kill everybody so we can have the room to ourselves. No way. It's safe I've now! Please, time. show yourself! That shit ain't free. It's one smoke. Don't be so stingy. I'm the stingy one here? Screw you, dude. Christ, fine. I'll buy you lunch to make up for it if you're gonna be so pissy. So you can forget your wallet and make me foot the bill? I'm not falling for that again. Are you... tracking this shit in a notebook or something? Yes. Something. Checking it out, over. Actually, I'm not so hung up on the analysts having the break room themselves. They probably needed more than us anyway. No tents around here lately. I don't have any details for us to be fine. Yeah. Not much to clear. Yeah. Guard duty's not so bad. You come in, see a thing, go home. No stress. Security protocol overruled. Good, you're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Did it feel? 
feel like taking lives? Random. Disorder. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. That was tense, 47.
now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So... What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me.